Forsell did a interesting, uh, we do lots of interesting surveys. This one is, uh, is one, and I want to spend, don't spend too much time on it. However, if you look at the top bar, it says, we asked for each of the following technologies, please indicate your level of awareness. And we rate awareness between, you know, already using and I don't, I'm not aware and anything in between. So if you look at ITSM, BSM and CMDB, 32% uh, of the respondents, and I don't remember exactly how many, and if you're interested in the details of the survey, I can certainly bore you with that. But 32% of those folks said, yeah, I, I'm, I'm already using ITSM, BSM, CMDB, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, I'm going, and, and another 9% said I'm piloting, uh, and 25% and are aware and interested. That's great, you know. Th these statistics, the vendors I work with, the, the A to Z vendors love these statistics. They go, give this to my salespeople so they can go all out and, you know, like, you guys like this too, right? It's a great opportunity. However, what really struck me on that is, when I look at the bottom, the automatic, the, 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 the tools which discover map applications and infrastructure dependencies, only 19% of the respondents actually uh, were already using that. To me, that felt contradictory. So what did they do? Did they go out and actually manually look at and continuously understand and map what's out there? Do they index and search and go out there and, and understand? Probably, yeah, because there's only 19% or, you know, four plus 19. So that's, that, that was very contradictory to me to understand that. And, and that's a research area I'm focusing on right now, understanding why is that happening? What comes first and how do these things connect? And where, from a practical perspective, can you start to actually make a difference? Just like you crawl before you walk, right? Is that how Americans say that? By the way, I'm not from Texas, I'm from Germany, in case you were wondering about my accent. So then we looked at the adoption rate of all of that, um, of the entire application mapping, excuse me, application mapping technology, and just quickly, is, this is taking off. You can also see when something like this is taking off, when there is a large amount of acquisitions out there, when one vendor buys another, right? The CA buys the Centura, the Semantic buys the Relicor, the EMC buys the end layer, and those are horrible days for analysts because we have to get up and make sense out of those things. We call those CEOs and we say, hello, mister, hello, why did you do that? And then they give you all this wonderful stuff so that you can understand it. We try to then write it so that you can understand why did Altiris and Semantic get together? Hmm. Another subject area. But you can see the adoption rate is really, really exploding of this whole subject area. And that's what we're predicting based on the client inquiries we're getting at Forrestal and based on what we hear from, our, from the vendors. What are some of the trends? Really key three trends. First one, the application mapping scope is expanding. So this is, once you are there, you have done ADM, you have a, a, a way of understanding your, your your environment from the application perspective and how does it connect and who and what is all, is all involved, the next trend is actually then to go broader. You go into the virtualization, you go into the servers, sorry, you go into, the, into your storage environment and anything else which is coming after. I mean, there is endless opportunities and endless possibilities if you think about that. Secondly, this sentence doesn't make sense um, and it doesn't make sense because a, a colleague of mine wrote it and won't tell you who that is, but. What I mean by this, or what we mean by this, deep dive application code dependencies, this really means what I said earlier, that you need to understand what in the development environment, what your developers are doing, how are they enabling applications to later on easily be going into the production and have already that thinking of infrastructure impact earlier. So that is a, a notion where application developers and production po people are working together. That is still, how many of you in your organizations have that smoothly happening? Ooh, overwhelming response. <laughs> um, and then last, another trend, um, automation is absolutely desired uh, complement to application mapping and CMDB. So taking, once you know what's there, and once you have this knowledge base of CMDB, I'm sure many of you have gone to CMDB sessions. Who has attended CMDB sessions? Just a sh quick show of hands. All right, great. So automation around those two subject areas will actually, if we step back, reduce the complexity we have today in the manu 
well, which reduces to some extent the uh, complexity, it will allow us to take mundane tasks out and focus on proactive work, more planning. You can actually become a planner for change management instead of doing you know, repetitive tasks, which et cetera, et cetera, you could get replaced. Um, wave, this is a wave. I don't know how many of you are familiar with the waves. Just quickly, it's a, we are very regularly ev evaluate ven vendors. Um, this one, we have done the application mapping, uh, ADM folks, and uh, you can see Tideway right there. The size of the bubble is basically the market presence. So here you can see all the market mates. I call them market mates. I hate the word competition. Competition uh, sounds so hard, and I'm, I'm, I'm from Germany. I, I don't like competition. Market mates, you can see them. Uh, so the size of the bubble really has to do with the presence, being in the place, having an installed base, um, and having the, uh, having market presence, and then uh, you can see Tideway here as the leader and uh, in very, very strong strategy, very, very strong current offering.